Aerodynamics is perhaps the most characteristic branch of aeronautics, but how did this study begin? Who discovered it? Well, it is not known for sure, but we can say that after many pilot flight attempts in modern birds, it was discovered that the answer was not in how, rather in the way they flew. The answer was in air. The first empirical advance came in the ancient China with comets. Evidence that a plane with some inclination and speed could leave the flight. Also, no jet had been described how this was possible. After a long time, Da Vinci appeared, who discovered that there was a force proportional to the velocity of the fluid that resists an object to move through it, force we know today as drag. Also applied advanced aerodynamic concepts to several of his design, but limited by the technology of his time, was not possible that we'll check them. Many concepts finally found a physical model with the considerate physics father, Sir Isaac Newton, who made various fluid mechanic contribution and resumed the problem of inclined plane, giving hints of what today we know as leaf equation. But nobody is perfect nor even Newton himself, who failed when obtained this formula and was doing to think that mechanical flight it was practically impossible. Being Newton a very credible entity, few see dared to question him, the light so the mechanical flight. Sir George Cayley was one of the few who did not settle for what Newton said, making important contribution but above all it is considered as the first to identify the four flight forces, lifting, weight, thrust and drag, which he applied successfully in gliders. Later, other Lillian had followed its studies and improving their designs, but still there was no model that described how it that this was possible. If there is someone who's deserved to be named Aerodynamics Father, is the Russian scientist Nikolai Yukovsky, who he was also one of first in make wine tunnel test. Thanks to the Wright brothers, finally it was empirical proven that the Newton's formula was wrong, and with those advances made by the bright Yukovsky, with the collaboration of the mathematician German Martin Kuta, they formulated the condition that bears both names, Kuta Yukovsky condition. From there, Yukovsky was able to give a mathematical explanation to the lift with the help of circulation theory, theory with which he also decided a mathematical transformation to convert a circle to an airfoil. From here, derived infinite wind theory for airfoil analysis, theory which later allowed Ludwig Prandtl to develop the finite wind theory. Years later, the NACA was created. Organized that institutionalized and promote the creation of aviation industry. In this committee, were designed many artful families and technical reports were created, tied to propellers and other application of this. Of the few consequences we can call positive about Second World War was the development of the supersonic aerodynamics, identifying compressible flow problems that resulted in new artful design and win for the flight in this regime. In the late 50s, the NACA was dissolved and practically became what is currently the NASA, where the advances of its predecessor were used in the space race developed during the 60s. Today, the Prandtl method has been replaced by computational fluid dynamics that give a numerical solution of neighbor Stokes equation, which were developed years before final width theory but their use had been discarded to this application due to its extreme complexity. The one tunnel test is still the best option for aerodynamic analysis, although it is believed that in a future the computer will have enough power so that computational flow dynamic replace it, but it seems to be far from happening. <laughs>